several of the different companies are all reporting shortages, and I know that families are really struggling to find it. Sinai Hospital pediatrician Dr. Dana Silver says her office is fielding lots of calls. Just yesterday, I had a parent call me uh, very desperate. His daughter is uh, fed through a G-tube and could not find her specialty formula anywhere and uh, had completely run out. So Dr. Silver contacted the company for the family and the formula is on the way. We found formula scarce in several stores. 11 News reached out to several retailers. This is a response from Walgreens. Due to increased demand and various supplier challenges, infant and toddler formulas are seeing constraint across the country. Similar to other retailers, we put into effect purchase limits of three per transaction on all infant and toddler formula to help improve inventory. Dr. Silver says in the meantime, it's okay to switch to a generic brand. If they are on a cow's milk based formula, they can certainly change to another brand. I always say it's kind of like Coke and Pepsi, so it's absolutely fine to switch for most patients. Um, if they are on a specialty formula, they really need to check with their pediatrician. The same goes for soy based and sensitive brands, but she warns not to do this. What I really want to encourage though is that they don't thin out their formula, that they don't add extra water. Uh, that can be uh, very, lead to very serious complications with their babies. Dr. Silver says you can buy formulas online, but be careful. They want to make sure that they're not buying um, uh, formulas that are from other countries because they have different standards. If you're looking to try a new formula, you might ask a friend who has some to spare if you can try theirs. Also, ask your pediatrician if they have samples that you can try. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.